Hello students, today the discussing topic is uh, regulation of the kidney function. Regulation of the kidney function. Kidney excretes different types of the excretory products. Okay, and excess amount of the water and uh, ions in the body, in the body fluids is uh, excreted outside through the excretory structures of the human beings. Different types of the excretory structures have the body. These are mainly kidneys and the skin. Okay. Uh, what do you know about the osmoregulation? Osmoregulation that means osmoregulation means maintenance of the body fluids, maintenance of the water and uh, solute, maintenance of the solute particles present in the body fluids that is called osmoregulation. Okay, in some osmoregulation is also defined as a maintenance of the homeostasis and uh, water levels in the body fluids is also called osmoregulation. Okay, students, uh, this one is the osmoregulation is uh, maintained by monitored by three types of the hormones which are three types of the hormones these are ADH antidiuretic hormone aldosterone hormone and angiotensin 2 hormone these are three types of the hormones goes to osmoregulation of the body fluids ADH is the hormone antidiuretic hormone is also called vasopressin which is secreted by hypothalamus via the neurohypophysis of the pituitary gland. Next, aldosterone is the hormone. Aldosterone is secreted by adrenal gland, which is located at the upper part of the adrenal gland. And angiotensin 2 is also secreted by the body. Okay, now. This one is the regulation of the kidney function is monitored by some amount of the parts in the body. This is first one hypothalamus and the second one is gestra glomerular apparatus and the third one is the heart. In this first one what about the hypothalamus? Hypothalamus it is the main part hypothalamus it is the part of the brain okay it is the part of the forebrain next this one is hypothalamus lies close to the close to the pituitary gland lies close to the pituitary gland and hypothalamus having some amount of the osmoreceptors hypothalamus having osmoreceptors these are the osmoreceptors detects them determine detects them excess loss of the fluid excess loss of the fluid from the body of human beings and uh, these osmoreceptors at the same time send the the type of the signals to the hypothalamus okay hypothalamus at that time this one is stimulates this one is the hypothalamus is stimulates when the signals are received by the osmoreceptors hypothalamus secretes antidiuretic hormone antidiuretic hormone is also called vasopressin antidiuretic hormone is also called vasopressin okay this is the antidiuretic hormone acts on the distal convoluted tubule and collecting duct of the nephron okay these are the parts of the renal tubules of nephron 
and uh, stimulates the cells present in the DCT and the collecting duct uh, and goes to the reabsorption of the water from the urine into the body fluids and uh, in this way in this way vasopressin or anti diuretic hormone prevents the diuresis it prevents the diuresis diuresis means diuresis means this one is a uh, uh, most amount of the water losses through the urine that is called diuresis it prevents the diuresis and uh, this is the adh causes increasing of the body fluids body fluids also increases and it is also causes the switch of the receptors switch of the osmo receptors when body fluids are increases it causes the switch of the receptors okay switch of the osmo receptors and when the failure of the anti diuretic hormone inability to secrete the anti diuretic hormone unavailability of the anti diuretic hormone okay that leads to the disease that leads to the disease is called diabetes insipidus okay students diabetes insipidus is causes the dehydration losses the water in the body okay that is called dehydration water levels are falls down in the body that is dehydration and at the same time it is also causes fall of the blood pressure in the body this is about the role of the hypothalamus in the kidney function and second one is dextra glomerular apparatus dextra glomerular apparatus dextra glomerular apparatus means this one is the one of the arrangement structure present in region of the kidney where the afferent renal arteriole is combined with the distal convoluted tubule okay JGA it is also called JGA dextra glomerular apparatus is also called JGA group of the modified epithelial cells in the DCT okay DCT DCT distal convoluted tubule it is the part of the nephron the cells present in the wall of the DCT or epithelial cells modified epithelial cells in dct called macula densa that is called macula densa this is macula densa okay and then one the afferent renal arteriole afferent renal arteriole is uh, with the wall the wall of the afferent renal arteriole having group of the cells group of the cells these are modified smooth muscle cells present in the wall of the afferent renal arteriole is called dextra glomerular cells dextra glomerular cells and macula densa both together constitutes constitutes dextra glomerular apparatus dextra glomerular apparatus okay this is about the structure of the dextra glomerular apparatus in the kidney when the blood pressure is falls down in the glomerulus glomerular filtration rate gfr means glomerular filtration rate when glomerular filtration rate is falls down decreases at the same time dextra glomerular apparatus releases renin enzyme this is releases renin enzyme this is the renin enzyme acts on the angiotensinogen angiotensinogen this is the angiotensinogen is synthesized by liver cells renin enzyme acts on the angiotensinogen and converts into angiotensin 
Okay, students. This is the angiotensin one again converts into angiotensin two. Finally, angiotensin two is produces in the blood. This one is the convert conservation. Conservation is occurs at the region of the lungs. When the blood entered into the lungs region, lungs region at that part, angiotensin one is converted into angiotensin two. Where the most converting enzyme, angiotensin converting enzyme is present, and finally angiotensin two is produces. This is the angiotensin two. This is the angiotensin two. Acts on the acts on the adrenal gland. Acts on the adrenal gland. Okay, stimulates the adrenal gland to produce the aldosterone hormone. Okay, students, this is the aldosterone hormone. Or aldosterone hormone acts on the collecting duct and the distal convoluted tubule of the nephron. to the reabsorption of the sodium and the water content present in the urine when the urine is passes through the renal tubule renal tubule the sodium content and the water molecules present in the present in the urine these are reabsorbs into the body fluids or the blood by the effect of the aldosterone hormone at the same time potassium is added with the urine this is called selective secretion okay students in this way in this way this one is causes the increasing of the blood pressure in the glomerulus glomerular filtration rate is increases by this method This is about the extra glomerular apparatus. Okay, students. This entire the mechanism. This entire the mechanism is also called renin angiotensin aldosterone system. Renin angiotensin aldosterone system. Next one. What about the role of the heart in the maintenance of the kidney function? Okay. the heart is with the right atrium right atrium when the blood pressure is increases body fluids are increases increases the right atrium of the heart stretches its wall stretches its wall and secretes one type of the peptide hormone peptide hormone into the blood right atrium secretes secretes atrial natriuretic factor atrial natriuretic factor it is also called atrial natriuretic peptide atrial natriuretic peptide it is acts on the smooth muscles present in the blood vessel and causes the vasodilation vasodilation means dilation of the blood vessel okay and uh, goes to the relaxation of the smooth muscles this increases the this uh, causes the decreasing of the blood pressure in this way the body fluids uh, body fluids uh, when goes to the when it is uh, passes through the lumen of the blood vessel with uh, low amount of the pressure and this leads to the decreasing of the blood pressure okay this entire the process inhibits counters the effect of the renin angiotensin aldosterone system this inhibits the ras okay students this is about the regulation of the kidney function